Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video we'll talk about gas and crypto. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntaxverse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. Ever sent crypto and got hit with a crazy fee? That's gas, and here's why it exists. In blockchains like Ethereum, gas is the fee you pay to run operations on the network. It's what you pay miners or validators to process your transaction. Every action on the network costs gas. Sending ETH? That's gas. Minting an NFT? More gas. Interacting with a smart contract? You guessed it, gas again. Think of Ethereum like a decentralized computer. The more complex the task, the more computational power it takes, and the more gas you need to pay. Gas is priced in guai, which is a tiny fraction of ETH. One ETH is equal to one billion guai. But here's the catch. Gas fees don't just depend on what you're doing. They also depend on how busy the network is. If Ethereum is congested, fees spike. That's why a simple transaction might cost $2 one day and $80 the next. Want to save on gas? Use the network during off-peak hours. Try layer tools like Arbitrum or Optimism. Use apps that batch or optimize transactions. Ethereum 2.0 and scaling solutions are working to fix this, but until then, gas fees are part of the price of decentralization. Gas keeps the blockchain running, but it can be a pain if you don't understand it. Learn to time your moves, pick the right tools, and you'll spend less while doing more on chain. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.